Every football player needs to be cool, calm and collected while also requiring a high quality of motion. This is the soccer player of the future. We are showing you an exclusive coordination training routine with the ball. We introduce many different agility patterns as well as technical moves, but always with the premise of trying to intersperse adaptations and also allowing mistakes to be made. It's about trying to find each player's ideal level of flexibility and mobility, but we're not looking for perfectionism. There's a lot of educational material in coordination training, but this is almost entirely focused on running coordination. Coaches talk at length about all types of things, including cones and training poles. But material about coordinative exercises in relation to the ball and the necessary playing skills are almost non-existent. This is interesting because those are the skills that decide the outcome of the matches. The drills we've incorporated into our training routine are designed to improve our girls' strengths and their weaknesses. We focus especially on adaption, and we can assure you that you'll be able to incorporate the drills we show you into your training program. Most of our drills are not only useful for female football players, they will also help most men to get better and become more successful footballers. I think the big difference in men's and women's football is that most girls really give thought to what you're saying and try to take it to heart, whereas the guys sometimes don't really pay attention to what you tell them. They just want to do their thing, whereas the girls actually think about what they say. There are notable differences when training coordination. Adaption is a problem for many girls. Men have a wider range of peripheral vision, but women are significantly better in other areas, such as rhythm and the use of kinesthetic awareness. We show you many different moves of superstars such as Cristiano Ronaldo and Neymar. Naturally, we don't practice the original move right away, but we're working on the agility pattern of the move to learn it eventually. It's important to put your own spin to these moves. Obviously, we need not only quick feet in modern-day high-speed football, we also need quick thinking. <laughs> 